Yo, we live, we live, we live, we live. Dope Bear Magazine, Dope Bear Blog, Dope Bear Blog Spot, man. Um, bringing y'all another exclusive interview live from the street. I can love you, bro. We're here with the champ, man. Uh, SOG, man, a real hometown hero. The kid, Andre Ward. Um, I'll jump right into it. Last night we, we lost the greatest boxer, fighter of all time. What did Muhammad Ali Ali mean to you? Man, he, it's, it's so much, you know, it's so much to try to try to articulate and so much to try to try to even put in the words. But I mean, to, be, to put it in the most simplest form, I mean, in the ring he acted like a fighter. You know, he acted like a champ. You know, what I mean by that is he fought everybody. You know, today is a different day and age. You know, Social media, and, 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 and big online presence. People do a lot of talking, a lot of a lot of posturing. But behind I mean, the scenes, you know, top fighters really don't want to fight. He wasn't that guy. Like he was a guy in the '60s who broke every barrier and every rule by talking the way he talked, act, acting the way he acted, then he backed it up. That was the difference. And uh, he fought everybody. He won some, he lost some. Sometimes when you fight the best, that's gonna happen. So in the ring, I mean, he, his legacy is set. Outside the ring, whether you believe in you know, his belief system or not, you got to respect the stance that he took. You got to respect the fight that he had in him. And uh, he was fearless, man. And, and he lost three years of his career by making the stand. And I just went through something recently like that with lawsuits and different things in a boxing game. And looking at him and having somebody who had already went through something like that, a little bit different, but still he made a stand when, when the media was tearing him down. And, you know, his career was hanging in the balance. I went through the same thing, but he had already went through it. So that encouraged me to go through what I went through. Saying that, man, today is like you say, we have we have a lot of fighters who hide behind ad signs and uh, <laughs> their PR team, they go out and they say whatever they want to say, and uh, there's a lot of tough guys outside of the ring. Undefeated, Olympic gold medalist. What's next for Andre Ward? In the short term, you know, we're trying to get another two fights this year. Uh, I just moved up in weight. I went from 168 to 175. We couldn't get a lot of guys to fight at 168, so um, I went outside of my weight class. I put on a little bit of muscle, a little bit of, little bit of weight, and, and I'm coming for the best guy, which is Sergey Kovalev. And, and hopefully we get that done in November, hopefully in Vegas. I'm trying to get it done at MGM and, and, and in the interim, another fight probably at Oracle. So, um, like I said, with the lawsuits and stuff that's been going on, I kind of been hot and cold, but we're trying to finish this year strong, man, and I don't know how many more years I got in this game, but I'm trying to go out with a bang. With signing with Rock Nation, do you feel like that takes those things to the next level with, with grabbing these fights, with, like you say, you alluded to, uh, a cold win in November, hopefully. Um, and in Vegas, is this your first fight in Vegas? First fight Ever. Ever. We are an hour away. That's what we're playing. Do you feel like, um, do you feel like Rock Nation can get you that fight that the world's been waiting to see? I think, I think, you know, I think Rock Nation definitely brings something to the table for sure. I mean, you know, you can't argue with the results that they've had, but at the same time, I think, you know, my resume, I think all the work I put in over the last, you know, 20 years total, but over 10 years at the pro, yeah, it, 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 it speaks for itself. So, you know, everybody's, everybody's journey is different. Everybody's career is different. And, um, you know, I've had world championship fights. We've done that. Now it's time to cement the legacy, and, and that's and that's right around the corner. We got a young fighter from Vegas slash Oakland coming out. He got a lot of Oakland grassroots. But uh, any thoughts on Devin Haney? Yeah, man, Devin is uh, he's he's really ahead of his time in terms of uh, you know just his skill set, and you know all he has to do is just stay focused. You know, he has to stay focused. People don't realize that you know the more attention you get the more fame you get you, you know you start to make a little bit more money you start to get a little bit more attention it's an art learning how to navigate that it's not easy it's easy for people to sit at home and say oh how do he blow all his money because he got a hundred people pulling on him he can't say no or how did he how did he do that that was stupid well you know yeah it was stupid but it's he never learned how to make the decisions or say no so he got his father in this corner, which is way ahead of the game with that. And, and I think his father's doing a tremendous job in the ring, outside the ring. So I think Devin is going to be just fine. He's just got to stay focused and keep working. But he's going to be a world champion if everything goes right. Because uh, when you have it, you have it. We've, we've known, last question, we've, we've known King's Gym to be world-renowned. as having some of the greatest fighters come from King's Gym. And, uh, and, and, and all of these other gyms, some of the gyms you trained at. Um, in the near future or... In the further future, 
is there an Andre Ward boxing gym for the youth? For me? Man, that's a uh, that's something I've thought a lot about. That's something that uh, you know, as my career is winding down, that's something that uh, you know, I'm really taking a hard look at. You know, the thing with me is like I don't ever want to do something if I'm not all the way in. So like now, I'm just trying to go as many places I can go, do as much as I can do. I mean, I watch you, I watch Marshawn, and I see how y'all get back, and I'm always trying to figure out ways to get back in, 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 in you know a deeper kind of way because if, if you're doing what you're doing, or I'm doing what I'm doing, man, and we're just making money. It's, it's you know, building our brand and not giving back and taking time, we really waste, we, we, it's a wasted career in my opinion. I mean, we, yeah, we're benefiting, but nobody's being helped. So um, the boxing gym is something we're talking about, trying to work on, but in the meantime, I'm just trying to do as much as I can do um, just to be a blessing in word and in deed. Say no more, man, you got it. One of the true guys that's true to his character. It's not an act, it's not a game. A real son of God, son of man, and uh, an amazing guy, man, father, champion and an Oakland representative. Sir. Dope there. Appreciate you, cousin. Appreciate you,